Okay, this is a support video for users of uh, Right Networks, QuickBooks, and Label Connector, all three of those together, and using a label printer on a PC to get it running with um, QuickBooks on Right Networks with, uh, with Label Connector from AccuWare. So I've got an overview document here that goes through a few of the steps in AccuWare. If you contact us, and we'll be posting this on our support page as well, uh, and there's also other videos that I'll allude to um, during this video that can be helpful to you. But uh, one of the first places uh, you'll need to uh, work with is uh, inside your list of programs on your local computer. Okay, for, let me give you an overview. First, what, what we're going to do is we're going to work with TS Print, which is a locally installed program on your PC that needs to be set up and configured so that your label printer that's already been installed onto your local computer uh, will appear up on Right Networks. And we'll also need to set the page size in the local printer in the driver. And I'll review both of those things. And you do all of that while not logged into Right Networks because all of these settings need to be configured on your local computer and then when you log into Right Networks, it pulls up a lot of these settings when you log into Right Networks. So if you're in log Right Networks right now when you're watching this video, log out of Right Networks and then go into your local computer and go down your list of programs to TS Print and uh, AccuWare can help you get this installed. But Right Networks should have set this up on your local computer um, to let you configure your printers for use because they use TS print when they're printing from their sessions. Okay, so uh, one of the first things I was told by the Terminal Works support folks is this will be checked by default. Uncheck that and then go to dynamic redirection. Okay, and I've already done it here, but basically find your installed label printer, which we have other videos on how to just install a local label printer to your local computer and, and you do install it to your local computer the driver <clears throat> so find your local printer in this list and, and select that for dynamic redirection and it'll it'll appear in your right network session with this same name but with a pound sign and a three digit number after it um, showing that it's been forwarded up there to your session for you to use. Okay, so we'll just save that and that's done. So that's the settings inside TS Print. And then go into your local printer, okay, in your settings. Um, and I'm going to move that over here onto this screen for you. Go into your devices, go into your printers. Okay, and let's say, um, again, we'll use that same printer. Uh, again, this is for any label style printer. You need to go to Manage, Printer Properties, Advanced Tab, Printing Defaults, and go to Page Setup. Okay, And I usually edit the one that says User next to it because that's kind of the default one that Windows is using. So let's just change that, make it be 4x3. And then you also, under Graphics, depending on the printer you have, you want to set Dithering to None. They might call it something a little different than that in your printer driver but it's a black and white looking rendition in this screen here and then click apply okay uh, and then go to the general tab and go into preferences and make sure those settings are moving into the preferences because for some drivers they automatically go there and for others they don't so uh, so those settings are all fine so we've got the 4x3 page size now sometimes that page size will just automatically pull up to right networks when you log in and sometimes you have to set it again in the label connector design screen test print window and I'll show you that in a minute here so that's all set so we've done everything that you need to do on your local computer so again we set the page size in the printer you would have already installed your printer driver at this point AccuWare can help you uh, install uh, the four barcode printer if you got that. So go ahead and just log into Right Networks now. Okay. And pardon me because there'll be a little bit of delay here with some of the screens and things that need to log in and open up. We're going to have to log into QuickBooks. That takes a moment. Um, so it's setting up our user profile here. Okay, so we did all those settings without being logged into Right Networks. 
go ahead and just let it open up my desktop here and then we'll go ahead and log into QuickBooks. Okay, I'm just going to use a sample company file here. And we'll just open that up, get logged in here. Takes a moment here for it to open up the company file. That's fine. This is assuming now that Right Networks has already loaded the Label Connector app to your Right Networks user profile. If they haven't already done so, they have to do that for you. AccuWare and Label Connector can't add that to your profile. So Right Networks will do that for you in customer service. So um, they need to provision our app to your login account for Right Networks. All right, so we got QuickBooks open here. It's still kind of opening up here a little bit. Um, we'll minimize that, okay, still loading here. All right, so we've got QuickBooks minimized down the bottom here. Uh, we'll go ahead and, again, if you don't see this icon, you got to ask for Right Networks to provision the Label Connector app to your desktop. Um, we'll go ahead and log into that. Um, now, you would have had to create like a user account um, at the AccuWare website to have a trial account to use and the place you do that is on the AccuWare website right here you just fill this little form out at AccuWare-Inc.com and then you go to Label Connector for QuickBooks Desktop and get your trial credentials set up here so you can do all this without committing with a trial account try it out we'll help you get it working so assuming you've already filled this form out now you have a user account when you go into Label Connector to log in with, okay. Go ahead and log in. Not sure what that's doing. There we go, okay. So the user interface we allow you to print from various different modes in QuickBooks. There's all kinds of functionality here that's described in other videos, but I'm targeting this for uh, initial setup for Right Network. So go into your label design and uh, again I have videos on how to do your label design so I'm just going to open up an existing one okay I'm kind of going a little bit ahead of how fast this can keep up here but uh, so I'm opening up an existing label design I haven't even added a text element let's just do that one step quickly here so you can just see that so we'll just call this item and we'll select item to use for that and we'll just put in some test data just this test data is just for designing purposes and we'll go ahead and just put that on the label just so you can see that, that okay we have a field on the label so to be honest with you I do recommend test printing and getting in, communicating with your printer before you kinda go all the way through the whole design and make it perfect so go here uh, you know you save your design okay and it can be saved anywhere on the right networks um, you know data folders and then go ahead to test print okay and in here now your label printer because of TS print should appear here and it's down here for me this is the zebra printer that I was playing with on my local computer and you see it's appearing here with a pound sign and a three digit number okay and then the properties as you can see they didn't come up uh, as they should have so um, you'll need to somehow sometimes you need to just again reload those locally here okay um, and that's all set up. Okay, so um, the closed label connector here, which occasionally happens. I'm not sure why that happens on Right Networks, but it does. So we'll sign in. Yeah, we'll just close that other session. Go to your label design. So again, we opened up our sample file or your label design, and you you want to go to test print. Select your now redirected local printer which should, should appear here and um, yeah, we'll edit these and these should hold okay and they should be pulled up with the right network session I didn't get a chance to properly save that because the software was 
So uh, that's it. So then you just test print that to your local printer. And I don't really have that one attached right now, so that's not going to go through. But So then once you have your label design, in this case set up for purchase orders, um, you can then exit your design, right, and then use this design, search on your purchase order, pull it up here and select this design and select in here that same redirected printer with the pound sign and the three digit number after it in this order screen here. So um, let's take that a step further, see if we can show you that. So just pull up a PO here. All right, so we got 39. Let's pull that up, get the order. And this is just one of many modes you can use Label Connector for, right? So I'm just showing you with a purchase order here to print labels. You can use sales orders, invoices, the item list. You can use item receipts. So here you would select your um, redirected printer, right? That's appearing there now. And you would select this um, test label that I... Okay, it's uh, i got to find it on my right networks labels here. Yeah, I didn't look at exactly where I stored that. But you would select your... Um, label design and you store it and make sure you remember the folder where you save it to like I just didn't do but select that uh, but the, the main thing is here is make sure your redirected printer is appearing here so you gotta get the some key things you gotta get the the page size set in your local printer in the local printer driver properties and then when you're in the designer create a design of that same size label and that should locate everything and print properly for you. So hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, definitely reach out to AccuWare at 630-858-8410. And we can definitely have someone remote in and help you get this working smoothly. Thanks.